This is Sauteing 101. Let's do it. Hello, my name is Eduardo and this is the Lalo Lab. Here I teach vegan recipes and I teach you to become a better chef to elevate vegan cuisine. Today, I'm gonna show you how to saute vegetables, specifically what sauteing involves and how to do it properly. So first of all, we wanna know what is sauteing. And sauteing is super simple. It's a cooking technique that involves high heat and low fat. So when you saute, you use only a little bit of oil. When you use a lot of oil, it's more like pan frying. So those are two different things and people sometimes confuse those two things. Something very important, what kind of oil to use? So you want to use an oil that has a high smoking point. What do we mean with high smoking point? High smoking point is an oil that it doesn't burn that easily because when it burns easily, it forms free radicals that affect our body as a humans. An example of a high smoking point oil is avocado oil. That's what I'm gonna use today. But if you don't have avocado oil, you can use also, and I recommend grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and sometimes I use olive oil, but not extra virgin olive oil. You might ask, but why olive oil if that is not a refined oil, it's not a high smoking point oil? That's a personal preference because I prefer to use that and coconut oil instead of using canola oil or other very refined oils that are produced with GMO ingredients. The next question is, can I saute any ingredient? Unfortunately, you can't because there are ingredients that have a lot of water, like let's say tofu, let's say tomatoes, right? When you put a tomato in the pan when it's cut, you can see the structure the water is coming out. So when you're gonna try to saute, the tomato is gonna stick into the pan. So you're gonna be able to saute. And what the word saute means, it comes from the French and it means jump, representing the motion that we do with the pan. The ingredients are jumping in a high heat and that is gonna help also to cool the pan a little bit and not burn the ingredients. I'm, I'm almost done. I know you are anxious to know about this and I'm gonna show you. This is really important because if not, then what's the point? I want you to do it right and that's why in this channel I teach you how to make things right. But otherwise you can learn how to saute in other channels. The next point is the size of your ingredients. The size is very important. Why? Because if you put a big chunk of, let's say, I don't know, this is an orange, but let's say it's a carrot and this is an acquired carrot and you wanna put it in the pan, do you think it's going to cook for sauteing? No, it's not suitable for sauteing. So what it is suitable for sauteing? You want some julienne, something thin and something small. Sauteing, it's a quick cooking technique. You're gonna cook whatever you're cooking between three and six minutes, approximately. Okay, so let's go to the actual technique, finally, right, Eduardo, finally, you stop talking. Today I'm gonna do two recipes that are very simple. We're gonna make ginger maple zucchini. So we have a small diced zucchini, ginger, brunoa, onion, brunoa, and a little bit of garlic, just sliced. For the second recipe, we're gonna make a delicious saute mix of vegetables with chiles and escabeche, our homemade recipe. So we have carrots, cabbage, and daikon in julienne, and also some onion and some garlic. We're gonna top it with some cilantro and we're gonna zest some orange on it. It's gonna be delicious. First, we want our pan to be hot medium hot. I always try to put my hand here to feel the heat in my hand. We're gonna add avocado oil. This is gonna be just to cover, just to coat the base of the pan. This is about one tablespoon. You're gonna see how the oil start running. Now it just start lightly smoking. At this point is when we want to add all our vegetables. So first we're gonna add onion, garlic, and ginger. And this is going to be fast because if not, this is very little and it's going to start burning. So when sauteing, you can use a spatula or you can just, you know, saute it like that. And here you're gonna realize what I told you. Onion have water 
and that's why sometimes onion sticks into the pan. Here I'm gonna show you the color that it's getting and right away I'm gonna add my zucchini. A huge mistake that people commit is that, that people when they're sauteing they crowded the pan with a lot of ingredients. For this amount, this pan is, is, a, is a appropriate amount. Why? Because I don't have a huge mountain of vegetables trying to get some color or some heat. You just leave it there for a second and then you saute, moving your pan. Why? Because if I just, I'm doing this, my pan is gonna get cold. I'm not gonna have the heat that I want. I still want the heat, but I don't want the heat directly all the time in there. So with a spatula, you can clean the sides of your pan if they are sticking into it. So just move them around and then just from now on the end, every, I would say, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just stirring. Remember, this is gonna take three to six minutes. And what is the motion for sauteing? So what you want to do is just push the ingredients to the front of the pan and then you're just gonna bring the pan back. So this is going to generate the motion of jumping. So bring it in front and then just to the back. And then you're gonna see how they start jumping. Some of them might fall off and that's all right, you know, like sometimes they are go that is gonna happen. So at this point, this is ready. Now we need to season, but you need to season fast because the heat is high. We're gonna use lime zest to add that freshness. And then we're gonna add some maple syrup this is going to create a coating in the, in the vegetables that's gonna make it a little bit sweet. This is just like a tablespoon, a little bit of tamari to generate that beautiful sauce, that umami flavor, and then just mix it. This is the last step when you are sauteing. And as you see, I'm mixing everything. And look, now everything is sticking into the pan. Sometimes I want to saute, but I can't. Why? Because of the water. Finishing with some cilantro stems and voila this is done i know it's a little bit messy around here i apologize but don't worry about it final product less than five minutes and then you have this beautiful zucchini with maple and ginger one of the things that i love about sauteing is that you can control the doneness of your vegetables for example this one it is just on point it is beautifully cooked. Hmm. And I can still feel the texture, right? It's not mushy. I don't have a, a mushy zucchini here. I still have texture and I have the, the little sweetness of the maple syrup and the soy and the ginger, a little bit of garlic, and it's just, just perfectly balanced. Obviously I'm doing it in a induction burner, but in a gas burner, it's going to be completely the same. Sometimes it's even more noise and more fun because you see the flame, right? But be careful, something that you need to know when you do it in a gas burner. A huge mistake that happens in restaurants is that they add a lot of oil. And when they are sauteing, they keep their pan too low and too close to the flame. And what happens? The oil burns. And the food, yes, it tastes burnt. Have you tasted that kind of weird flavor, kind of smoky? But it's not really smoky and it doesn't taste good is because someone burned the oil and sometimes even the oil lights on fire and that's the worst flavor you can imagine. Now, when you do it at home, also be careful because you don't want those components to be in your health. Okay, so we're changing of environment. Now I'm gonna show you in the stove with real gas using a wok. What is the difference? That this is aluminum and this conduct the heat super fast. This is going to start smoking super fast but it's good for this kind of sauteing. We're gonna do the carrot dish over here. Everything is in Julian's. We're gonna turn this on. In not even 30 seconds pass, and this is already getting very, very hot. You can see a little bit of the smokiness in the pan. So we add a little bit of oil, and then we just spread it all around. This is the perfect temperature. We're gonna start with garlic and onion. So this is going to be really fast because this is very thin. We don't wanna burn it. So we just stir it around a little bit, and then to the top and then you just come back. This is amazing about the wok that is going to help you to do the movement very easily because it has these curved carrots because there are the ones that are thicker. The same, this needs to be fast, moving around and then on top, sauteing here. Now we give it a little bit of time 
to get, you know, the heat. Usually in restaurants, the heat, it comes out like, like a flame. So it's always super, super hot. But at your place, at home, our flame, it might be just this hot, right? And, and this is a good flame, but still for this kind of preparation, you will like more. You can see that the onion is already cooked. It's already very soft and it's actually looking transparent. That's what we want before we add the rest of the ingredients. Cabbage. And remember to not overcrowd your pan. It's going to lower my temperature and then it needs to recuperate that heat and it is just more difficult. Here you can see like there is barely oil. It just coated the, the little amount of oil that put in the vegetable. You cannot see any oil here. So therefore when I saute, there is no oil that can get burned. So now daikon goes in and the pan is hot. Always I add the ingredients when my pan is completely hot. And then here we're gonna start seasoning. While the daikon, everything gets cooked together, we're going to add some orange zest for freshness. This is going to add a beautiful kick to your vegetables. We're going to add the chilies. Where I'm gonna add only just like three to add flavor. Smells super good. We're gonna add a little bit of tamari. It's done. Turn it off. We're gonna add some fresh cilantro. Stir it in there. So we just go want to infuse the cilantro flavor into our saute. And look how beautiful is this, my goodness. And there you have it, how to saute the right way. Before you go, another tip. If you're planning to cook for more people, remember, don't crowd the pan. I know it's gonna be very tentative to try to put all the vegetables in there, but do something else. Grab two pans, heat them, and then put your vegetables, and then basically you're gonna do it with both hands. And if not, just change while leasing the heat, change to the other pan. You know, I'm glad you got to the end because it is really important for you to know why how and also the technique because without the knowledge then the technique is going to be poor but now you know i appreciate your time and please don't forget if you want to keep learning with me techniques vegan food and elevating the style of your cooking subscribe click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next videos thank you so much for everything see you next time